Hi everyone, it's great to see you. Today I am going to be replanting the window boxes. Yes, this is the third time that I will be planting the window boxes. This time we still had a water issue. Things were really, really starting to get root rot. I backed off on watering too much, in fact, that they got too dry. And now we just need a fresh start for these plants. So I think that this time I have the ultimate solution. I hope so, and we'll see how it goes. The first thing I'm going to do is to remove the plants, what's surviving of the plants, and then dump the old dirt. <laughs> Oops. So I have emptied the two planters and it was really kind of just thick and heavy with water at the bottom. So it still was not really um, the consistency of soil that I'm looking for. The plants actually look pretty good now that I've picked all the dead leaves off. So I think that we can bring them back to life well. Um, neither of these are a sponsor, but this is just what I happen to use. I'm gonna use the miracle Grow Moisture Control Mix which is what I used last time, but it wasn't enough. This time, also not a sponsor. I'm gonna add some perlite, and perlite just adds to the aeration of the soil, so it should be able to absorb the moisture it needs and then dry it out quickly so it's not sitting in that moisture. Okay, we're looking pretty good. I'm going to add in the plants that we took out and I also had a couple of extra, these are Terra Nova Pink Poodle Coleus. So I think just for a little added interest, I'll add these in the middle too. Now, if you remember with the coleus, you can pinch part off and it will re-root really easily. I've been having a great time doing that. These are a little tall for my planter. So I am just going to pinch and then add this one right next door. And that should just root right in there and make it a thicker, bushier piece of coleus. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. That one already looks so much better. And the same thing for this one, we'll do the two tuberous begonias on each side, and then the two potato vines. This tuberous begonia might not make it, we're gonna hope. Okay, not too bad. I'm gonna get with them some water here. And the important thing is going to be to keep them moist, but not overly moist. Now, when I dumped out the dirt at the bottom, you didn't see, but I did check to make sure that all the drainage holes are open, and they are, and there's plenty of drainage holes. So I think it was just me with the watering. Looks good. I'm gonna put them back on the shed. I'll see you over there. Okay, so the dirt looks a lot healthier in here. The plants, I hope, feel like it's a lot healthier here. And now we'll just see how the watering goes. A lot of gardening is just problem solving as you go along. So if you find that you have a container like I had here that just needs to be repotted, go for it. It can't hurt, give it a try and see what happens. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.